Hi guys. Oh, I used to love the fall. <laughs> I am feeling really bad physically. Anyways, I am going to harvest. Uh oh. Okay, this pot here was full of tomatoes, and I guess I um, set, set them out on a platter for squirrels or raccoons. <laughs> okay, I knew I should have brought them in. Anyways, I am going to bring all the tomatoes I have inside and I am doing something with simple grower a test to see how they ripen inside which I will show you but let me get all these plants down it's all gone I left some of the um, ground cherries in there so that they could reseed themselves and I got this big thing of green tomatoes. Now, I don't know if what I'm going to do is going to work. I had some big ones. All big ones got munched on. So I'm going to just throw these in there. I have had tomatoes come up. Uh, in weird, unexpected places before. Because uh, I don't think it's good to try to eat that. So we'll see what happens with these guys. It's so many too. It would be such a waste if I couldn't use them. The other day, after the rain, uh, the water was all clear in there and the baby, where is she? This one here. Stay in one spot, Mama. Yes, you're so pretty as you are. <laughs> she was in here playing around like it was summertime. And then look what happened to my umbrella. <laughs> wow, I mean, this was brand new. And it's gotten hooked on. See how the vine has wrapped itself? I mean, it is hard. I can't even get that off with my hand. Uh, so I gotta figure something out, cut it off, and toss this umbrella out. Another umbrella bites the dust again. These gross things with the warts. Um, earlier on, when the leaves were starting to change, these things with a lot of warts would fall to the ground with a thud. Disgusting. And I'm not putting any of the leaves that have the warts in a composter, that's for sure. But I gotta deal with this because it can't hang there all, <laughs> all winter. <laughs> Hello? Hello, boo boo! Just wanted to show you a ground cherry. So they come in these little sacks and they pop out and they taste different than a tomato, but they're good. Secondary experiment was to keep them in a container but where they were exposed to the light and uh, I've just thrown some new ones in there but they, it has worked for those ones just dangerous with the uh, the dogs and the cats I don't want them grabbing them Okay, so the experiment is that we are putting our green tomatoes, actually there's some in there that i got to take out, in a paper bag 
setting them in a warm spot. I think it was a warm spot, correct me if I'm wrong, to see if they will ripen. Now I have to put these way out of the way because not only do I have dogs, but I have cats that like to um, take and steal my tomatoes. I actually found a large tomato, like the one you saw in, in the garden that somebody had taken a chunk out of. Well, I found one of those in the cat's room. It wasn't the dogs, because they're with me all the time. The cats snuck around at night, thought, hmm, tomatoes, let's play ball. And they dragged it all the way upstairs. <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> okay, so I'll come back and let you know if this works or if it doesn't work. Go check out Simple Grower's channel. She does a lot of great videos. She's a homesteader. And I'll put the link down below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great night.